so this is Coruscant State Park. Because we're much more level. All right, let's do this. go back to the water and get some Teflon tape because it does leak a bit and I hate to leave it on because it's kind of wasteful. So it's after three o'clock and we're chilling here. So I picked up some beer the other day. This is a High Lie India Pale Ale. It's made in uh, Tampa, Florida. Cigar City Brewing. So Tampa, Ybor City in Tampa is known for making cigars. They used to make them by hand. I'm not sure if they still do anymore. But uh, yeah, let's crack this bad boy and see how it is. Now, I was going to test out Starlink, but I don't know if it's going to work here. There's a lot of trees. It's good, but um, hobby might be a little too happy for me but I'm drinking it yeah so I'm staying overnight here tonight and then uh, we'll do a um, probably go for a walk later I'm gonna go back in the trailer for right now and just organize and go through and organize also, I'm going to take the pizza oven out and set that up here. We'll retract the awning later. Um, we're going to cook steak in the pizza oven tonight, and I got a salad to go with it, so it's perfect. But we're definitely going to wait until the sun goes down. And I've got, uh, I think the camp host is right next to me. <laughs> okay, so we took a little bit of a siesta. We didn't take a nap or anything, but we were, I don't want to say stuck. We spent time in the trailer to organize just a little bit. And mostly just, uh, I, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I sat around on my phone. Okay. 
Um, we got one to two bars here. Um, I might try Starlink, but we have a lot of trees around here. It's around six o'clock tonight. Tonight, that doesn't make any sense. So it's around six o'clock. Now we're gonna wander about the campground just a bit. Oh, is he getting any signal here? I wonder. Hmm. I don't think he's getting any signal. Got a camouflage one. So, I just passed by somebody that has Starlink, but he walked away too fast so I could ask him to see how it is. So, it may work here. Like, right here, it may. But, oh, wow, look at this. This campground's, like, wild. Oh, wow. Huge. That Winnebago is ginormous. This is where I wish I um, brought a bike or have a bike. All right, so we're just going to take um, a tour of the other camp area. So we're just going to go up and around, just checking it out. It's much more private than Collier Seminole, which I actually prefer this. bathhouse laundry so where do you park is there parking to do the bathhouse I didn't I didn't see a place to park hmm I want to come back just to see Right, that's tent area, 16 to 26, low clearance, so we don't want to do that. We're going to loop around. Campfire circle, no vehicles, please, foot traffic only. checking it out. So, let's see. So, how do you get to the bathhouse? Alright, so we're going to move it around again because I'm curious to see because the bathhouse is up here, but where do you park for the bathhouse? Okay, that's campground host. So, do you have to walk up to the bathhouse? Huh. So is it you have to go over there? So that's the bathhouse, laundry, and trash job. So I wonder if you have to... Oh. Yeah, why? I got a tag right here. Who are you? So while I'm driving around here, figuring out where I can take a shower at the bathhouse and stuff, I have a lady come up and approach me and say, who, I, who, who am I? And I asked her who she was. And she goes, she's a camper here. I said, I'm a camper here too. And she's like questioning me. I'm like, uh, yeah, you need to go away. Cause I was just wondering where, where the bathhouse was. Like, do you have to park? Like, is there a place to, like, drive over and park to go to the bathhouse? Because if you do that, you're going to have to 
you're gonna get all sweaty and stuff by the time you get back to your campsite. So that's what I was inquiring about. 